What this says is if I as a Florida contractor go knock a freaking door and say I want to do a hail or wind inspection and I find some damage and take some pictures and that's how I engaged or started our relationship. This says that that homeowner can resend my contract in 10 days, that I can get a $10,000 fine and I might be subject to criminal penalties because I said the word hail, wind, hurricane or insurance claim on my initial presentation to get on that property. That's a dangerous, dangerous, it's not unconstitutional, but a dangerous situation to be in as a Florida contractor who's made his whole livelihood off approaching people and helping them after storms, which is what they should be doing. What I'm saying is until that constitutional mess is worked out, it might take some years, that you approach it from a different way. You sign up and you have a solar division in your company and you offer a free 10 point energy assessment of the home. Inadvertently, you might find that there's some hail or wind damage up there. Of course, you will know, if, I, you know if it's visible or not. And the solar installer cannot install solar on a damaged aging roof or that has a potential leak. It's part of the analysis. Yep. It's, a, it's a letter that we include inside the SVG University and it gets you around this direct solic solicitation for the hail, wind, or uh, insurance claim. Because you'll, you'll never deal with the financing if you can't get through the front door. Right. You know what I mean?